Hello, welcome to the other one sister. I am Victor, Victor Justy from Hyderabad, India. Today's message is rejoice. Rejoice, the dictionary meaning of rejoice is to feel or show great happiness. Depending on your Bible translation, the word happy and happiness are used approximately 30 times in the scriptures. And the words rejoice and joy appear over 300 times. In many of these occurrences, believers are told to rejoice in spite of their circumstances. The disciples are continuously filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. That's in Acts. When we encounter difficulties or trials, it is easy to assume our circumstances are the reason for our lack of joy. We justify a joyless attitude by saying, with everything going on, God understands. But joy is not circumstantial. Joy is a sign of Christian maturity and an expression of gratitude. According to scriptures, we can always rejoice. Rejoicing is a sign of maturity. Jesus taught people to rejoice and be glad. It takes maturity to rejoice in suffering. People told, Paul told people in Rome to rejoice in tribulations because it eventually leads to hope. In Philippians, Paul returns again to the theme of joy. This time he strongly emphasizes that such an attitude should be constant not temporary. Believers find their joy and hope in God. Joy is part of the fruit of the Spirit and is important for every believer. Paul seems specially focused on the idea that rejoicing is to take place at all times. We often forget that Paul wrote these words while a prisoner in Rome. He had been wrongfully arrested for some time, shipwrecked on the way there, bitten by a snake and left under horse arrest for two years. He had every reason to complain, yet focused on rejoicing. Both his teachings and example provide an amazing model. Every believer should seek to rejoice in the Lord despite difficult situations, just as Paul did. Both Peter and James taught believers to rejoice greatly, even when hard-pressed, because God will use those circumstances to mature and strengthen our faith. We are free to rejoice with food, that's in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Rejoice in your spouse, rejoice in your salvation, rejoice in God's love, rejoice in God's words, rejoice in God's promises, rejoice when truth is shared, rejoice in sufferings, rejoice with others who rejoice, fellowship in fellowship, rejoice in fellowship, rejoice in trials. There is nothing more offensive than ingratitude or entitlement. Likewise, there is nothing more attractive than gratefulness and true joy. Rejoicing always allows us to enjoy God's provision and even His methods. Scripture is clear. clear. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Let us pray. Triumphant Father, we decree that as we rejoice and praise your name, our souls will be anchored in you. Your word says, if we come close to you, you will come close to us. Therefore, we confess that we'll meet you daily in intimate prayer, praise and worship. Amen. God bless you.